They got out of the gates like gangbusters in the game in Utah on Thursday night as Vanderbilt gets the put back up and in. Against Utah on Thursday night, they shot 8 of 11 from three-point range in the opening quarter. Ooh, that was nice. Rubio to Nas. You don't see that very much with Nas. What are they allowed to meet for? And Ryan said he wasn't even sure what the protocol was, but that, you know, it might have to be something like on Zoom to have a... Edwards. Oh, man, that thing rattles home. It certainly did. So it's out there, huh? Okay. Another look at Ann. Watch this thing. It's a... Extra pass to McLaughlin. Got Williamson to fly by. Connects on the three, and the Timberwolves go in front. They've worked hard in this game. Yep. They've forced 10 New Orleans turnovers. Oh, are you serious, Josh Kogi? Behind the back. He's only got one assist tonight, but it was a beauty. Finding Jared Vanderbilt for the stuff. And it's been a good one going here in downtown Minneapolis. Well, the Timberwolves get another stop. Wild <laughs> shot put up and goes in for Beasley. English on that one. And it's Seska Moscow. Yeah, she, she did. Trajan Langdon, Louisiana Tech player. Oh! Trying to get it to Williamson. McLaughlin read it the whole way. Beasley, the leak out on the other end. So and now you can't say that Minnesota hasn't been able to get a win without their stars. Wow, and Josh Kogi hits a tip in right there. And that should be the nail in the yeah. coffin, And Malik Beasley, very gentlemanly, isn't even going to take a shot. He could have added two points to his point total very easily. Instead, just dribbles it out. And Ryan Saunders, Malik Beasley, and the Timberwolves, woo, they are, I think more than anything, relieved.